show me the way to the med bay. I have no clue, seems I've never been on a rear supply ship, and I'm not psychic. You'll have to find it the old-fashioned way. My daughter used to say, no change happens without some sacrifice. I know what she used to say, Henry. I was married to her. You know, some Rians believe that after 600 years of growing up in less than Earth's gravity, they don't qualify as human anymore. They think they're better than us. You kill my crew, or why? I just got here. It wasn't me. Which is weird, because you'd think I'd be the one with anger issues. What with me living in space on a tin can for the past few years, and you've been down in your, with your blue skies and your clean air on Rhea. The best way you can protect Riley is by building a better world for her to live in. Now, Ellen knew that. What do you think it's like over there? Human beings don't change. Earth are scum! The government blames Earthers for everything. They're putting blame in all the wrong places. The ship has obviously been shut down for a reason. Now the thrusters are firing on full and can't be deactivated. Going around a planetoid at this speed will accelerate the Nisa to well over G-Lock. I can't believe it. Is that compassion you shown for an Earther? Then this ship is on a collision course with the refugee station. <laughs> All right, so we definitely have some issues. Easy way to get rid of the migration problem. How could you? Everyone is going to die, Bran. You have no idea what it's like living on that station. What would happen if Rians found out that your government had tried to kill refugees? Change? I'm doing them a favor, really. The slingshot has already begun, and the sudden deceleration would almost certainly kill you both. We'll be approaching over 9 Gs. The whole ship will depressurize. Long and cold winter here on Earth for us. But out there, who knows? Say hello to my family for me. I will. Now get ready and try not to die. I like space.